Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here, coach of your Wexa Waylords, and welcome to our week four team building video for you guys this week for the MPL. And this week, this week means a lot to me. I'm not going to lie. This one is kind of, this one holds a little bit of a special place in my heart. We're up against Rue, coach of the New Jersey Brobats. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I would love, and I mean love, to pick up the W against Root. Uh, this week, you guys. Root is the bane of my existence when it comes to draft league format. I have yet to have been able to beat him. Now, I love the guy, don't get me wrong, but I am going to march into New Jersey like the Mafia did all those years ago. The winners are going to march into New Jersey like they did, except it's going to be Root that's going to be sleeping with the fishes this week. That is what that is what I am promising you, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm promising you, because there's no way, no how, I'm losing the two other UBL coaches in the same MPL regular season. No way, no how is it going to happen. So that... <laughs> You know, you, you can tell I want this win. I want this win badly. But anyways, um, Root's team, as you can see by me now, consists of Megaladio, Scizor, Darmanatan, Primarina, Decidueye, Gavantula, which is one of his Z captains, Don Fan, Miltank, Noivern, which is again one of his Z captains, Alona Persian, and Karabik, which is another one of his Z mods. So he's three Z captains because he has you have points. We, I was over that previously in one of the uh, other videos. Uh, and he managed to spend, he spent them across three different Pokemon. Um, and that is his squad. Now, Darmanitan is a massive threat because we don't really have a bulky water type that wants to eat that. So a bandit or a choice scarf Darmanitan does work against us. It's not fun. It's going to be very tough to deal with. And Darmanitan gets the coverage to hit everything on my team. It gets Zen Hebo for Combo, EQ, Rock Slide for uh, Victini. Um, it get what's it called um, you turn pivot as well. So Dar Manitan does a lot of work against my team. Uh, in, Root knows how to use Pre Marina very very well, and that is a big issue for my team as well. Those sort of bulky water types are annoying. Now we haven't managed to beat them, but they are very annoying for me to deal with. And Megaladios, scary, always always scary, such a scary threat. Whenever you got to go up against it, uh, it that, that was kind of one of those elite mods that were just having to be allowed for the MPL this season, and Root picked it up, and it's a threat. It straight up is a threat. But, ladies and gentlemen, this week, I feel like we have the power, the muscle, the desire, the hunger to be able to actually pick up our win against Root and get ourselves to 3-1. and one. We're currently 2-1 and one if you missed last week's episode against, uh, last week's battle against Sebi. We're currently 2-1 and one with a plus one tip. We're 3 and one this season. Oh, my nerves are shot by it, really. But anyways, enough of the jibber jow, enough of the hype talk. Here we are, right? Let's get into this team builder. Out in front, we have Nagato, our Greninja, with Hydro Pump, Dark Pulse, Gunk Shot, and Substitute. 152 in attack, 148 in special attack, 4 in speed F, and 204 in speed. That 204 is to make sure that we can outspeed... Who is it? It's not Noivern, it's Alolan Persian. So that to, that speed allows to outspeed the Alolan Persian, which is really nice. Now we'll outspeed Noivern once we get to Battle Bond, but like when we're just base Greninja form, we have enough speed to outspeed that Alolan Persian. Uh, we have enough attack investment for us to be able to do a roughly between 75 to 80 percent, give or give give or take on Pre Marina. Now the idea behind this is that we would have rocks up, we'd be behind the sub. I mean, get a Dark Pulse or Hydro Pump off. And then go for our Z Gunk Shot and just bop the Prima Arena. That's the idea behind it. Like it's a, it's just, it's designed to be a tactical nuke against Prima Arena, and that's what we're hoping for. Uh, the rest is then is put into special attack so that we can actually hit things. Uh, we can hit uh, a little bit harder on the special side because we actually the, the reason why I have this Greninja set. I should get into the idea behind it a little bit more rather than rambling as as the way I am. The idea behind this Greninja set is we threaten everything. We throw in absolutely everything on Root's team with this, uh, with this set. If you look at his team, no one wants to take like the coverage we got. We hit everything neutrally or super effectively, which is fantastic. So the idea behind it is that we will get into the position where we can click substitute. Like we're going to force them on out. We're going to click sub. Once we're behind the sub, then we can use the plethora of like those three other moves to get the, any damage we need off on people and we just go from there that's the idea behind it like Scizor doesn't want to take Hydro Pumps um, you know the Decidueye doesn't want to take a Dark Pulse we just I just have to talk about how Primary does not want to take a Gunk Shot like all that kind of sort of stuff like this really it feeds into us to be able to have this set and it works really really well so Greninja 
it's gonna be uh the, the uh what's it called it's gonna be a man on a mission this week to hopefully come in put pressure click a sub get a chip on everything for my wing con to come in and sweep late game and our wing con this week is again going to be chief to come at all and probably one of the irish just you didn't quite sweep like you thought you were last week but listen the opportunity is there again for come all against roots team so because there's the gap there's a space there for Como to do work because we have the coverage to for Como to do work and we have mons that we could potentially sit up on like mill tank like carving um like uh choice uh what's called uh, if we know that their man is a choice specs or a choice bandit set and is locked into fire and flare bits i can click d dance on that i can eat flare bits i can then go off and then bop a few things we can set up on scissor like there's a lot of mods we can set up with Como O on and I'm very and that kind of gives Como a lot of a lot of room and space to work with and I'm happy with that. So as I said, we're running Dragon Dance, Fire Punch for Scizor, Poison Jab for the Pre Marina. Again we need chip on Pre Marina. It's very vital we get a lot of chip on Pre Marina, but I am expecting Pre Marina to be a bulky pivot, like a mod that's gonna come in and take hits for root constantly. Now if it's a, it could be a Steve Talk set, it could be a leftover set, I don't know. But we need to just get about 30 percent on it to make sure that Greninja and Como a plus one will be able to just wreck it. So poison jabs there for the Prime Marina and an outrage it just hits everything else. And I cannot complain about that. Cannot complain about that. Uh two three six in speed allows us to speed out speed. Whom is it again? Uh two three six in speed. It's not Darm, it's believe it's pre marina. Believe it's pre marina. Believe it's pre marina. I, I think that was the idea behind it. And we have the adamant nature, so because we don't need the jolly nature to be able to speed those slower, uh, those slower mons. So plus one speed, we're able to outrun everything that's not scarfed with this speed with adamant nature, and we're bopping things, loving it. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't run close combat because you know Mega uh, Mega was the thing, and Dragon Claw wasn't quite doing it for me against other mons. That's the reason why we're running. Outrage and the reason why we're actually running Hydro Pump over, over Surf is simply because we don't we don't get damage that we really need to on other mons. So really really nasty that we have to kind of rely on those two moves. Outrage being locked into Hydro Pump being a little bit inaccurate, but we need the, the chip that those moves can give us. So we got to go with that, unfortunately. Okay, after that, guys, we have Victini. Apologies for the quick cut there, by the way. I just made a balls of <laughs> explaining Victini to you guys in the actual pro uh, like proper video, so I have to redo it. But on to Victini, and we're rocking out with, uh, let me talk about EV spread first, and then we walk, talked about the moveset, but we're rocking out with this EV spread of 176 HP, 252 speed, Tibbet Nature, 76 special attack, 4 speed F. You guys are probably wondering, wait, we're special Victini this week? Yeah, we're running the special Victini this week. We have enough HP for us to be able to deal with a Choice Scarf, Choice Band, Darmantan, a lot more. Victini is going to be a, kind of another semi-passive answer to it, because Darm does so much work to us but at the same time if it's locked it can't do much to more to us um like if like if it keeps being locked into a move and we have are like different months healthy like it'll have to keep switching it out and we can still just get chip on different things after that so it's really really like that is a big value to us in that in having like a that hp investment there to get us up and running and we don't need that much special attack investment for victini to do an awful lot of work once we get the plus one special attack so that's the idea behind that we're rocking out work up blue flare glacier and energy ball this is the moment where i wish victini got calm mind but just it doesn't good but i wish it got calm mind but it doesn't get to work up instead so rocking out will work up blue flare glacier energy ball literally plus one victini rue has very little answers to it uh, between Glacier, Blue Flare, and Energy Ball, we just we do enough, we do a hell of a amount of work. Um, Glacier can slow down Megaladio, so if Megaladio decides to, to try and hit us with two uh, two different moves, uh, we can just slow it down with one Glacier, and then we can pick it off with the next one if we're a plus one. Uh, Blue uh, Energy Ball can really pick through Pre Marina really nicely, which is great, and then Blue Flare just hits loads of things really nicely. So, Victini does an awful lot of work with the special, uh, with what's called with the special offset uh, offset this uh, offense this week. And I'm really hoping it could do an awful lot of work. We are rocking out the Aya Papa Berry as well, so we can get a lot of HP back once uh, we take a little bit of damage. Um, like, say, from a, 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 if we know Pre Marina is defensive and it's got Scald, we can eat one, go for an energy ball, pop Aya Papa Berry, get back, to full, uh, get back to a really good level HP, pick the Pre Marina off. Same roughly with the Diamantan. If Diamantan hits us with two 
uh, Banded Flare Blitzes, for example, we pick up, we just hit the Eye of Papaberry and we just go again. That's the idea, which is lovely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely lovely. Coming towards the book, we have Sylvia or Sylveon coming back this week with Hyper Voice, Hidden Power, Fire, Wish, and Heal Bell. 2 4 4 in HP, so we have the Audible HP. 1 8 in defense, 84 in special attack with the Bold Nature. We have enough in defense for us to live a plus 1 Steel Wing from Megaladios. So that could be a set he brings. I know Root has brought Dragon Lance earlier on in the season. So he could bring Dragon Lance again just to get the plus one speed or to have the Steel Wing tech against my Sylveon. We're not allowing that to happen at all. Uh, we have enough defense to be able to eat all those sort of things and then actually get big damage with Hyper, with hyper Voice. Um, Hidden Power Fire then for Scizor. Could be like if we happen to go, go up against this. Don't really want to, but if it happens, it happens. Wish and Heal Bell then just so that we can... Uh, we, we can, uh, you know, keep our team nice and relatively healthy while we're getting the chip damage we need and get our offense into, into the position for it to do work. That's the idea. Um, I didn't put speed in a Sylveon. I was tempted to put speed in a Sylveon against Scizor, but at the end of the day, Scizor is going to click one move against us and that's Bullet Punch. Priority move. No point in trying to add speed to Sylveon then. That's the only reason why there's no speed in Sylveon. And we're just rocking out with, the, with, this four, with, the, with these four moves. And the extra little bit put into special attack. So Hyrule Voice hits that little bit harder. Which is really, really nice. After that we got Colossus, our Mega Agron. With Fire Punch, Stealth Rock, Avalanche and EQ. We're not rocking out with uh, Steel type um, Stab this week. Don't really need it. Don't see the need for it against Root's team. Um, and honestly... The, f the three offensive moves we have with Mega Agron do an enough work to uh, Root's team. Avalanche is for the Mega Latios, the Dom Fan, the Decidueye, um, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, Fire Punch is for the Scizor, it's for the Galvantula, and then EQ is for the Damanitan, and that's essentially what I need to be chipping out on at. Uh, EQ is also for Miltank. We can, and, you know, so we can get enough hits with those mods to be able to deal with it. I'm running Max uh, Spadef. So that I can live a Z Fire Blast from Noivorn way better and kill it with an Avalanche. But I have to be like very healthy to deal with it. But that's the reason why we're running mostly Max Bedef. Is so that we can live the hits from Megalados and Noivorn and kill it with an Avalanche. So Agron's got Agron's got use for a long time in this game. Because we have we have the tech to kill off one of his offense. We've, we've, we have the tech to deal with it. And we can 1v1 Donphan. And Donphan will be, I feel like, one of his more bulkier brings to uh, to this game to stop v Craig Victini. v Craig Victini is a nightmare for people. So I can see Bulky Donphan coming and Agron can 1v1 with Avalanche and we should be good. So can't, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Last but not least, we are bringing Scorpia Argligar and this is here this week for Darm. Making his, uh, is making her Wexel Widow debut this week and it's here solely for Darm because Darm is a nightmare. Uh, I said it at the start, I'll say it again, it's a nightmare for us. Uh, don't know what set will come, whatever set it is, I just need to play around it, I need to scout it early, play around it, figure it out. So Gligar is here for Darm. Once Darm is gone, I don't care about Gligar. <laughs> That's it. Uh, once, oh yeah, once once Darm is gone and once if if Root decides to bring webs with Gavanchel, let's say. Once Darm is gone and webs are gone off my side of the field, Gligar can go. Gligar is a sack. But until that point, I need Gligar. I need Gligar until I get all that. So, rocking out Defog, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Roost solely for those sort of things. Defog, as I said, webs. Don't want them. They're, don't want them on my side of the field. Never want them. So, get rid of them. EQ for Darm, Wreck It. <laughs> Simple as that. I have Knockoff then as a bit more of a utility move. So, in my, in my, in my mind's eye, if we're up against the Darmanitan and Darm looks like it's going to be switched and like I want to get damage on something, I'm going to go for the Knockoff. Right, and um, prefer preferably I would like to knock off Darmanitan's item because if I can knock off Darm's item, whether it be Bandit or Scarf, then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I don't care about your. I like I do care, but I know Greninja Revenge kills you. I know Victini can revenge kill you. I know my Koma O can go to plus one with D Dance and sweep. So that's the reason why I've gone knock off instead of like something like U Turn or whatever. Like knock off gives me dag against Darmanitan as like a uh, middle ground play and also it can help me knock off pre-marinas leftovers if that is being bought or a rindo berry if that is being bought or the or, or the poison reducing berry if that's being bought to deal with uh greninja and como -O. like those sort of little things work really nicely so that's the reason why i'm bringing knock off as like that middle ground move uh especially when 
if because Rook has the great ability to put us probably in at the back and forth scenario where he's just going to get chip on us because you know, we're going to be a little bit passive. And if I just go for that knockoff and just stop, just abru abruptly, abruptly stop something from happening, like just abruptly stop, like say premier is passive recovery, that that's good for us. That's really good for us. So that's the idea behind that. And then Rook is just just so we can recover a HP back if the opportunity presents itself. Like if I have, if I get one. EQ if I get one knockoff off like I say the next play is just to get my HP back or whatever something like that you know but uh, that is the team ladies and gentlemen that is the team uh, I put max I put uh, yeah I put in that kind of EV, EV sprite so that we have uh, max defensive bulk and then I put the 12 in speed so we outspeed oh whom is it again it's to make sure oh sorry it's to stop it's to make sure we're not being sped crept from the likes of the situation or something like that that's that's what it's there for it's to make sure we're not being sped crept that's it so that's the reason why we have 12 speed in there but uh guys that's the team hopefully it works i'm dying for this win i'm not gonna lie i need i want this win so badly hopefully we can bring it home and become four and one if you guys are hyped uh for today's battle and you enjoyed today's video please click the like button down below for me i mean this week's battle not th today's battle because coming up different days but anyways if you're hyped for this week's battle make sure to smash like button down below for me and of course if you did enjoy this video if you got any comments on the team or the video itself whether it be good bad or indifferent let me know in the comment section down below and can you your thoughts on the team what you would have done differently all that kind of good stuff and last one is if you want to see more wix or Willow action coming away on this channel or more content in general please smash that subscribe button down below for me and click that bell icon and that note i'm going to get up out of here as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time